boys and girls and parents with fifth class. So you're very welcome to back to school for 2020. This gate here is the low front gate opposite FBD Insurance, otherwise known as the Fatima Gate. That is the gate two of our fifth classes will come in. Mr. Gleason's fifth class will come in that gate, and so will Mrs. Kilbans. So starting with Mr. Gleason's. Mr. Gleason's boys and girls walk in the gate, come up this path, and they will line up to come in this door. Now you'll see your name is up here, Mr. Gleason's fifth class. You start school at 10 to 9, you finish school at 2.30. This is the door you'll be coming in, but the best place for you to line up, I think actually is on this white line the first morning because no parents will be going around to the backyard, no parents will be allowed by here. So along by this, this line is where you can line up on the first morning. Mrs. Caban's fifth class will also be accessing the schools for this low gate opposite FBD Insurance. And you'll walk up this path by the playground, by the polytunnel. you will line up here on this inside line and this will be the door that you come in so it's the line by the bike shed this is the door that you come in and your time is 8.50 until 2.30 so at 8.50 you come in this door at 2.30 you exit by this door so any family picking you up can pick you up from this line by the bike shed at 2.30 and then our third, fifth class is Miss Sherry's fifth class. They will be entering and exiting the school by this back gate. So any parents that wish to come, although fifth class are well able to come themselves, but if parents wish to come, you come in the back gate and your children can line up here in the backyard. There'll be a, a cone or some kind of notification out on that morning. And they'll come up this ramp and in this door at 8.50 and they will leave at 2.30. They will be the only class coming in this gate and in this door for 8.50 and they'll leave again at 2.30. Within the school, we have little yellow arrows and they depict where you walk. You walk on the right-hand side. So do you want to have a look here? All the around on the right. And you go back up on the right also. There's plenty of work going on if you're working all the time by Thursday. From this corner, it's again up on the right. And back on the right. Now this is a typical senior class. Again, sanitizer on the way in and out of every classroom door. So, a sink, blue roll, and a knitted bin for every child to wash their hands before and after they eat, before and before they go out to play, when they come back in from play, and before they leave uh, for home time. Everyone will wash their hands. So, this is a typical large senior class, and this is what we call a bubble. And within this bubble, we have pods. In this class, there are four pods: one, two, three, four and they're all at least one metre apart. So children will stay within their pod up until the next break in school year, which should be October. And once they're outside, they can all play freely within their bubble. But again, only this bubble will be outside at any one time. When they come back in, they stick to their pods again. We might just go and have a look at the toilet. to um, class groups. We have a red toilet, whatever class uses the red toilet also uses the red sink. Green toilet, green sink. Blue toilet, blue sink. The teachers will tell the children on Thursday morning which colour sink and toilet is for them and that's what they stick to uh, all year round. This is the boys, the girls are just next door. So we're looking forward very much to welcoming all our fifth class boys and girls back on Thursday morning at 10 to 9 or 9 o'clock depending on your text this morning. Thank you.